Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download, install and configure MySQL 8.0.40 on Windows 11 operating system. Then we will install the MySQL workbench on Windows operating system. First go to mysql.com, click on downloads, scroll down, click on MySQL community downloads, so click on MySQL installer for Windows. See here we have the MySQL 8.0.40. See here the note. 8.0 is the final series with MySQL installer. As of MySQL 8.1, use a MySQL product zip or zip archive for installation. So for MySQL 8.1 or higher, also bundle MySQL configurator, a tool that helps configure MySQL server. Okay. So this is the last version in this series for the MySQL installer. Okay. Click on download this MySQL community. MSI. See here, not this one. Click on this download and its size is 306 megabytes. Click on download. Click on no thanks. Just start my download. See, download has been started. Go to downloads. See, the size is 306 megabytes. See, download is completed. Click on MySQL Installer Community MSI. Click on it. We can also get the MySQL Community Server by clicking on this MySQL Community Server. Click on it. Then select the version here. See here, we have the version. Okay. So, go to Installer. See here, we have the four setup types. Server only, Client only, Full and Custom. See, if you select Full, we have the tools MySQL Server, MySQL Shell, MySQL Router, MySQL Open, Documentation, Samples and Examples. If you select only server, see we don't have other options. So we have only server. If you select client, we see here we have router shell and MySQL Open. But there is no MySQL server. Okay. So select full or select custom. It's up to you. So I'm going with full. Then click on next. Click on next. See, it is going to install these components. Click on Execute. Click on next. Now we are going to configure these components or products. Okay, click on next. See, this is the port number. Okay, select the config type like server computer, dedicated or development computer. Okay, so click on next. See here we have the authentication methods two. One is strong password encryption and the use and Use legacy method. It is up to you based on the compatibility levels. Click on next. Provide the password for root account or root user. Okay. Click on add user. See, if you want to add any other user, you can click on add user. Or later also, we can add the user in MySQL server. It is up to you. Click on add server. Then you have to provide server name, host name, role type. See here we have different roles and authentication only then we have to provide password okay click on next i am not going to add user so click on next and this is the service name in windows services okay see here uh, the checkbox start mysql server at system startup okay don't select this one it won't start the mysql server so keep this keep the checkbox as this and uh, run windows services standard system account then click on next Click on, see, this will be the data directory location. Click on next. If you are okay with all the settings, then click on execute.
everything is done click on finish click on next click on finish click on next provide the password for root account click on check click on next click on execute see this is just installing sample database click on next click on finish everything is done start workbench after setup you want to open both or if you can close and we can open them by going to start all applications go to mysql folder mysql command line client and mysql workbench okay you can open by coming to here or just keeping the checkbox and click on finish see this is the mysql command line client okay see this is the mysql workbench so click on this plus button to add the mysql connection then give the name mysql 8040 host name localhost or this is the loopback ip it is fine because mysql is installed on this pc if it is installed on, on some other pc you can give the ip or the host name of the machine port number 2306 then password click on the store in vault click on ok click on test connection see successfully made mysql connection and this is the connection string information click on ok click on ok again click on it see these two are the sample databases sql and vault ok if you want to create database right click create schemas then give the new database then click on apply again apply it is done see here new database there want see this is the schemas section if you want to see the administration tab see here you have to click on administration tab and see here users on pros see these are the default users comes with mysql installation if you want to add account click on here then provide the test any username then provide the password for that user then click on apply then close this one see user is created okay close this one if you want to see the status of mysql service go to services dot msc press m see here we have the mysql 80 as i told you this is the service name okay and status is running if you want to stop you have to click on the stop button then rest if you want to restart you have to click on here same way if you want to stop use this button or restart or right click and select stop or restart okay so in this video we have seen how to download install and configure mysql 8.0.40 on windows 11 operating system for more mysql tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you